Hey guys, welcome back to our super messy base. Yeah, that's not the place where I really want to be. So, in this episode, we are going to be cleaning everything up. Goodbye. You will be gone. See you later. Goodbye. You will be gone. And then, we should be making a good storage system and stuff. And I need to go kill that witch. But anyway, um... Yeah, we'll hopefully be making a good storage system, making like a simple but effective layout for our base with um, lots of storage. That's one of the things that we really need to prioritize on, is storage. So, with our um, gold farm that we just made last episode, if you haven't seen it, you should really check it out. And if I actually remember, I'll try to leave a link on the screen right now that you can click on. So anyway, yes, gold, what was I going to say? Um, yes, that's right. We have 22 gold blocks, meaning we have quite a good amount of them. So we should be able to actually use them in our base. Now, I'm not sure if you guys actually like the look of gold, but... I think it looks quite nice and has a really good look to it, as long as you're not overdoing it. So yeah, like I was saying, I uh, will try using that and see where it goes. But I think I've rambled on for long enough. I think I will just get started and we'll see what happens. Alright, it's a little more cleaned up. We got rid of the chickens, the trees, and the cobblestone generator. Now there's just a little bit more to do. Um, obviously the chest. Well, I wasn't able to record there for a bit, but now I kind of have the whole thing done, and doesn't it look spectacular? Oh, who am I kidding? Let's actually go on top to where it is. Much better. Alright, so, obviously we have the center here, and there's four different storage quadrants, and each of them is split in half, so eight different ones total. These can be expanded upwards a little bit. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of chests. For right now, I have these bands in between because, well, we don't have trapped chests and probably won't be ever getting any due to their high cost of iron. But I suppose if we do make an iron farm someday, then yes, we could get our trapped chest. But for now, we'll do it like this. I haven't actually moved anything up here, and this pathway right here is definitely not final. I think I have something else I want to try, but as of right now, yeah, um, this will have to do. Um, let's see, what else? Alright, yeah, so here's the platform from a top-down perspective. Um, tell me what you guys think of it. Leave a comment telling me what you think, and what could be improved. I'm sure there are some things I could do to make it look better, but for right now, this is what we're going to stick with. Because I really cannot think of anything better, but I'm sure you guys can, so make sure to just leave down a comment, and I will make sure to get to that. Now, I do actually have a pretty good idea for what to do around this, I think. Why are you angry? Why are you angry, Enderman? But anyway, um, I think I'll just get started and yeah, let's just do another time lapse. I really love those, so, and I'm sure you guys do too. So, let's get started.
Well, after doing that for some time, I realized that the crafting recipe we have is pretty bad and should probably be changed. But I did get a fair amount of dirt and this might be enough? I really don't know. But I guess we'll find out. But now that I think of it, before I can actually do this, I need to at least place down an outline for the outer wall. So that at least I know where it is. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. And I'll be right back. Oh, also, um, before I do that, I just wanted to talk to you about something really quick. So you see how it's snowing? It um, really gets on my nerves just having all the snow pile around everywhere. So I had this idea that maybe up um, like a hundred blocks or whatever, something like that, we could just do a big glass platform that just stretches on and on and on. That would stop the snow from coming down and also it couldn't get snow on top of it. So I'll probably be doing that at some point. Not necessarily soon, but I would like to do it sometime. But getting glass isn't exactly the easiest thing. Um, we have a couple stacks, but a thought I had was actually to use glass panes as they would spread and be a lot more efficient. The only problem is building that would be kind of a pain as you could fall through. Pun intended. No, pun, that was unintentional. Pun intentional, that one, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to actually get to making this outer wall, and I will be back. Alright, I got something that for now will do for shape and stuff. Obviously not block choice, because no, we're not sticking with cobblestone. Also, we might round out this a little bit, maybe, but it shouldn't really affect what I'm going to be doing now. So, I think I'll just crack on and do it. See you in a bit. All right, we are back. So some time has passed since that last clip. I was really hoping I could time lapse it, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. But time for the grand reveal. Yep, yep, grass. Now I know what you're thinking, why grass? So the reason why I'm using grass is because, well, how often do you get to see a survival world, like normal vanilla world, made in Skyblock? I mean, seriously, that's probably never been done. So, I'm going to basically try to recreate, recreate a whole landscape, and hopefully it should look pretty good. Um, so yeah. Unfortunately, if we come uh, over here and we look at our dirt supply, I basically went through all of it, and that's pretty crazy. So, also, um, let's see. Also, yeah, you can see over here we're right next to the edge. So I'll probably at some point be expanding this out some more simply so that I don't have to worry about like falling off and um, the dirt falling off. Now of course you can obviously see this is completely flat. That's just for now. I'll be changing that pretty soon. But yeah, this one's right to the edge. So I'll be expanding out this side and that side on the other side. And also, um, I started to um, organize the chest a little bit. So over here we have um, the hostile mob drops. So like Rotten Flash. Oh, my game sounds are too high, aren't they? Oops. There we go. And then you have gunpowder, arrows, blah, 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 bones. And then all the rest of them are just in this chest. We have like passive mob drops and stuff. We have loads and loads and loads of cobblestone. And yeah, I'll just be going through and sorting out the chest. It does take quite some time though. And if you'd like to see what it looks from underneath, I think it looks quite nice. 
And yeah, I have been going through and cleaning this up, but it will take quite some time, like I said. Well, um, I think I'll just get to expanding the platform a little bit. And I'll see you in a moment. Oh yeah, one thing. I'm going to move the advanced crafter really quick. So, what better place than the center of the room, as it is kind of the redstone machine of this pack. So, if you haven't seen this, you simply take a dropper facing upwards, throw a crafting table on top, and boom, advanced crafter. And, um, yeah, so I guess that's basically it. I think, yeah, that looks pretty good. Could be worse. Well, I explained, expanded the platform a little bit this way. Only by, I think it was eight blocks, but I ran out of dirt already. And I was just trying to get a little bit of landscaping in, but it didn't really happen. So you know what that means, back to the crafting table. All right, time for another time lapse of me crafting dirt. No, just kidding, I already did it. But yeah, um, sorry that I probably bored you last time, but so three more stacks of dirt. That's really not that much. But yeah, I guess I'll just get back to work. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking, here, let me let you in on a couple plans. I'm thinking putting like a fishing pond over there, kind of, in that general area. Because we do need one of those, obviously, to fish in. So if I do some landscaping, oops, to get over there, then, yeah, I don't want it just to be a generic blue box. Speaking of blue boxes, but, um, yeah, instead, I will, um, probably make it look like an actual pond and maybe have, like, some water flowing in it and do some fun things. Of course, I do have to worry about water melting, but, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll be back with at least a little bit of progress. Alright, I think I kind of outlined a good size for, um, the fishing hole. So now I just need to turn that into a platform, and I realize that I won't have enough dirt to um, make it yet, but I'll probably start bringing over some, um, yeah, and just fleshing the whole thing out. Alright, platform done. Now, I know I kind of did a little bit of torch spam, but there's basically no valid spawn spots, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get started on that watering hole. No, fishing hole, that one, yeah. Well, here's a recipe I did not imagine using today. Awesome. All right, the pond is complete, kind of. It still needs to be filled in with um, water at this level right here. The thing is, um, well, we're still in an ice biome, so the water will freeze. Now, um, there is something I can do about that, and that's place blocks above it. So, you know how I think it was one of the previous clips I was talking about placing glass panes up really high up in the sky? Well, if I do that, it should also stop the water from freezing. So, now I just need to find a height at which I want to place these down, and then do that. Okay, I shall get started, and we'll catch you in just a second. Wow, quite a nice view from up here for being 200 blocks up. You can clearly see how small everything seems. Wow. Alright, so now I need to get above that. Fun, okay. So scary. <laughs> this is so scary, especially because... I'm, um, kind of afraid of heights. So, yeah. Ooh. Okay, okay, 
calm down. So it's a little hard to tell where I am, but I think if I look directly down, I can tell how far I've gone. So, again, if you haven't heard of our plans, we'll probably be someday filling this massive platform in. Just completely with glass panes to make it so it cannot snow. Well, it can snow above the glass, but below the glass, not so much. Alright, so I'll just continue doing this and hopefully um, I don't die too many times in the process. You can see I already died once if you're observant and you looked at your um, my XP levels. But yeah, hopefully that will be the last one. All right, another scary part about building this. You can fall through the holes right here. So I have to be extra careful. So basically I just get to let my pinky get really, really sore of holding the shift key down. Alright, I think I can build this out this way. It's a little hard to tell where this glass platform is, but... Um, when I go down there, I can clearly see due to like the snow and stuff being blocked. So when I run out of glass, I'll go do that. How I'm going to get down, I really don't know. But, I suppose I could probably just water drop if I really need to. Alright, 32 more. Whew. Well, there goes all my glass, so I guess I'll just water drop. Um, wish me luck. Of course. Of course. I guess I won't water drop. Um, actually I still can. I think I just have to go for it. Whew, okay. So, I've kind of made it, I guess. Uh, good, okay. I, I can survive. Boy, this is just... This is so crazy. Whew. My heart is kind of... Hopefully I don't get a heart attack. Yeah. Okay. So, while I was down there, I noted I needed to... Come over this way by at least two blocks. So I'll go three. To be safe. Um, okay, I'll just mark that for now. And then, that side is perfect. This side needs to come over until it starts raining. So, if I back up enough, it was quite a ways, like 12 or 13 blocks. Here we go. And then it's two past where the rain starts. So that works. Alright, I shall continue filling this in and we'll run out of glass in a moment. Wait, no, I meant... Well, that works. Down we go again. Wow, this actually looks really interesting. <laughs> Boy, I barely filled in any of that. Well then, um... Because I used three stacks to fill in that amount, plus that amount. Probably need about two and a half or three more stacks. Hmm. Yeah, probably three more stacks. Well then, I shall... I guess I'll just get to smelting. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Wow. Wow, look at this. This is... It's so cool, there's no snow right in this little area. And you can barely see the platform during the day, so that's about how I want it. Alright. So, yeah. 
Let me see what I need to do, and I will get back. Ah, that's what we need to do. End off the episode. Because they were sitting around 20 minutes or so. And we did a whole lot this episode. I mean, just look up. <laughs> and look over there. And look at this. So anyway, if you've liked the episode, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next episode. Bye.